Hey everybody, Panzanator here. We are rounding third and we're headed for home. That home is this awful off city that we are trying to capture. So we're just trying to move our entire military over here. It's um, a bit problematic because we're not really being sensible about it. We're just kind of winging it, doing whatever we want. So, um, so yeah, that is all I have to say about that. Um, and hopefully this this will be the last turn. Forgot to start my timer, but it'll be fine because it doesn't matter because of um, the way things are going. Okay, so we are going to go this way. Now another thing we are going to have to be uh, cautious about is making sure that um, that we don't lose Carboros. We don't lose the. Um, Slavic Federation's capital because that would be embarrassing um, let's let us steal science production gene smelter quest decision food production definitely production definitely production and you what troubles you um I accidentally declared warn you and I'm really sorry. I already have what I want from you. Not at this time. Sorry, chick, but um as soon as we can we're gonna blitzkrieg your capital. So that is actually you know what? We could probably do very well right now. So um let us see. Just wait. Just wait, just wait. Keep shooting aliens, I mean. That's been... That that mana core needs to be like... If I were a bigger YouTuber, this would be like memed and everything. Yay, we got a... um, What's it called? So it's, it has some level of strength. Of course, some level... Of, of course it has some level of strength. But, um... Actually, let's move you here. I want you to be on alert. Um... Guess established networks. Really don't care. So many spies. It's very good. Covert agents. They're not net tech. They're technically not spies, I guess. Um, what does this do? No. Let's build the Xenodrome. Yeah. Control the aliens. Make them like us. So, um. I'm really sorry, Africa. I really don't want to hurt you, but I accidentally clicked on you whenever I accidentally made an alliance with someone who's at war with you. Because I wanted them to come into war with me. Um, no peace. What troubles? What troubles me now is the game's not over. Real talk. Nope. Nope. Just go this way. We don't want to go to war yet. We don't want to go to war yet. Oh, Alphala has gone to war with them. This is just going to be a giant cluster of wars, isn't it? Fine with me. More than fine with me. Because I like that. Okay, let's destroy these camps with this mana core. Since he's not doing much of that anyway. <coughs> There's the daily cough. Um, culture buildings, yes. I like how these give, like, the basic, like, hey, this building is good for this, like, look. Um, e let's do augment. I don't really care. Augmentation, sure. Let's do it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I want to hear it. Go, Panzer. Be bad guys. So, once we get a few more bombardment units in, in range. Okay, so we got our networks have been established guess we'd siphon energy and all that there we go fantastic okay just be on alert just move closer yep we're almost to the point where we we're comfortable declaring war cuz well everyone's almost there in fact oof, most people are almost here we're probably gonna get the hey move your no! You want to become friends because we just have so many units around your board. It's like, please don't hurt me! And I'm like, I'm going to hurt you. I'm sorry. But I'm not really sorry. When have I ever been sorry? 
We're sorry. Like, have you ever seen, like, that South Park, like, BP, um... Like, the South Park's BP CEO apology, and, like, we're sorry, and he's, like, naked on a bearskin rug. If you don't know, just look South, look up South Park BP, I'm sorry, and if you don't laugh, um, I don't know how you, like, the, the, um... I would not understand how you appreciate the humor on this channel. So... Move and okay, so we can definitely take all four. We can definitely take them soon. I just want to move more guys and you know more guys closer. Just gotta you know make sure we um we gotta make sure we do it in one turn because well now's our chance. Ooh, do we destroy their navy or do we like no 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 just 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 hold on. Patience, Panzernator, patience. Go up there, destroy that. Okay. We have to wait until they get, like, super suspicious or something. Um, just gotta destroy all the alien nests. So, this should be fun. Okay, um. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we can definitely take it, I just... You know what? Next turn. Just wait. Um... Let's try and make peace with Africa. What troubles you? Our cause is not lost yet, buddy. Look. I respect you and all that, but... You know what? It's time to end this damn game. Come on. Move everyone in just because victory laps are fun. Just, just to make, just to assure their defeat. Um. Change relationship. War. Are you sure? I'm sorry. Nice submarine though. Shame if anything were to happen to it. Oh, this is not even a question we should just take pachos out all their units just to goof around um, okay let's make sure we have a melee unit okay are you ready for this everyone um, just just in case three two in the annals of history the great mistake will forever be seen as a terrible and glorious war Look, that's our troops our homeworld beyond repair in this, history is wrong. The mistake was not the war. It was our belief that we could start over. That when faced with mutual destruction, there could be peace between nations. See, this game needed nukes. It's only now, many years later, and halfway across the universe, that we see the truth. There is only one path to peace, and it must be walked alone. Yep. So, we have achieved a domination victory. That is, um... That was the goal of the series. We did kind of set to domination only. But yeah, we have the takeaways of what Beyond Earth did well. Um, it was kind of... I kind of see it as like a proving ground for some of the stuff they're going to do in Civ 6. Um, hope that it turns out well. And honestly, I don't regret buying this game. Because I feel like it kind of helped fund Civ 6 in a way. I don't know. It's kind of just a way of thinking about supporting Firaxis. Because I like most like if I like nine out of their ten games or three out of four or two out of three it's worth supporting them so that is um all for this we can just kind of stare at the screen right now but yeah so beyond earth it wasn't that bad I personally think that the main reason it wasn't that good of a game was I didn't spend as much time on it because like if you think about the Civ games like Civ 4 and Civ 5 the first expand, the vanilla was good, but it wasn't great. And then the first expansion made it pretty damn good. Like Gods and Kings for Civ Five, and then Warlords for Civ Four. Like you know, they address a lot of the ancient era stuff. They address military stuff, make it a bit better of a game. And then the last update, Beyond the Sword for Civ Four, and Brave New World for Civ Five. Like they really brought the game into what it was. Like and. Because Beyond the Sword especially, 
add like a bunch of mods and stuff like a next era mod and whatever and honestly i feel like this game is just the next era mod for civ 5 this that i've said it multiple times i've talked to it when i say something or talk to my friends this game should have been like a mod or an expansion pack for civ 5 if it just wanted to get to where it is right now now had they taken the step further it could have become a great game i don't know but they didn't do that because it just didn't have the support and when it comes down to it I think it comes down to theme. Civilization will always be a historical franchise. It's like colonization, like the, you know, Age of Sail, like Civ IV colonization, like why those expansions, I think, typically do better than like Alpha Centauri and this one, is because people who play Civ are fans of the historical theme, and they like the sci-fi, but they don't like getting rid of the historical stuff, so like, you know, not having that many countries, basically having it be a build-your-own type deal, like... It fit the theme, but the theme didn't fit the franchise. So, I think I've rambled on enough about Beyond Earth. You all know the expert opinion. It's a good game. It's just not a great game. And we expect Civ to be a great game. So, by this time, I think, by the time this episode's released, Civ 6 will be out, I hope. Um, or I'm uploading things faster. One of the two. But, so, all I have to say is, enjoy Civ 6. Look for those videos from my channel. If you like the series, like just me goofing around in the game that I'm not too much into, or any of that, just leave a like, it really helps out. Subscribe if you've enjoyed this, get more videos, all that good stuff. So, thank you for watching this series. Beyond Earth wasn't that bad, it just didn't have a historical theme. That is my analysis that this is like a high school hit essay or something. Regardless, I bobbled on for way too long, you've been staring at the screen for way too long. So... This is Panzanator signing out, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, this is Panzanator signing out. I always mess up the outros. Later, y'all. And cue the overture.